Hello everybody, in this video we are going to cover 3D scenes. To add a 3D scene it's basically the same as adding any other file. You right click in your resources, go to new file, or click the plus button, go to new file, or finally you can just go to file, new file. They all pop up this new file window. Then you select 3D scene, you can't input the size because that is based on what you set here. The design resolution, the name, I'm just going to leave it as it is, but you can change it afterwards in your resources section right there. You, as you should be able to notice, it is a .csd file, but the actual thumbnail is slightly different, the icon. But you, what you're definitely going to see is that it's definitely different from this blank, flat, black background to this it's 3d as obviously as you can see so in this video i'm just going to cover how to navigate around your scene and the different controls there will be separate videos covering stuff like models and 3d particles so by default it's select to it's um input is the move mode so to move around you use the right mouse button to look so i want to go towards that default camera and to go towards it you just use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out unlike some 3d applications in that they zoom wherever you have your mouse or towards that point this just basically zooms in on the middle part of this screen like so so you can just look around like that i want to go towards the mouse there you go so i'm just moving around okay i want to move to the left a little bit and the easy way to do that is using the middle mouse button i can pan so i can just keep that clicked in and i can just move around the scene like this so just pan in it which is pretty darn cool so if i were to let's say go onto the move cube these other objects are generally for actually sorry these are for when you actually have an object on your screen. So if I have this, select uh, this, this, as you can see, they are changing. Again, we will be covering all of those in a future video. So that is it really for this video. You've got your grid system. This is your 3D scene. You can look around. If I click this, it just lines me up in the X axis, Z axis, and the Y axis. And as a result, I can, zoom in and out to scroll around and I can obviously look around as well like so but again if I want to go to the x-axis and pan around I can like so which is really cool and if I were to click the bottom it essentially does the same there's the camera so that's it for 3d scenes there's not much more to it if you use applications like unity udk maya 3ds max that sort of stuff you'll feel right at home if not just experiment with it and you'll know what to do thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day